picture a world where cars run on nothing but air. No gasoline, no diesel, and not even a single charge of electricity. Just good old compressed air powering your ride. Sounds impossible? It's not just a wild idea. It's a future that's closer than you think and it's bound to change everything we know about transportation. So, buckle up as we dive into this incredible game-changing technology that might soon have us all breathing a little easier, literally. Let's set the scene. Right now, we're caught in a tug of war between sticking with fossil fuels and making the switch to electric cars. Electric vehicles, or EVs, are touted as the heroes of green transportation, but they're not without their flaws. The biggest issues, limited battery range. Long charging times and the environmental toll of mining precious metals like lithium and coltan for those batteries. Plus, not everyone's thrilled about the hefty price tag of EVs or the fact that charging stations are still playing catch up in many places. Now, imagine a car that's free from all these headaches. A car that doesn't need an expensive battery pack or a power hungry charging station. A car that's powered by something as simple as air. Welcome to the world of compressed air engines, a technology that's been lurking in the background for years, but it's now ready to take center stage and give EVs a run for their money. It's not just another alternative, it's a leap towards a greener, more efficient future that's as clean as it is clever. So what's the deal with compressed air engines? It might sound like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, but the concept is surprisingly simple. Unlike the traditional combustion engines that burn fuel or the battery-powered motors in EVs, Compressed air engines use high pressure air stored in tanks to create motion. Think of it like a steam engine, but without the steam or the emissions. The pressurized air is released, expanding and pushing pistons or rotating rotors to power the vehicle. No combustion means no harmful pollutants, making it one of the cleanest ways to get from point A to point B. Imagine having a little windmill inside your car, one that's completely self-contained and doesn't even rely on any external power sources beyond a quick refill of air. The physics behind it is simple. Compressed air is stored, released, and then harnessed to do useful work. It's this elegant simplicity that makes compressed air engines not just a cool idea, but a revolutionary one. Let's talk benefits, and there are plenty. First off, we're talking about zero emissions. None, nada, zip. It's not just a halfway measure like hybrid cars that still rely on fossil fuels. Compressed air engines eliminate emissions completely. For smog-stricken cities where air quality is a constant battle, this could be a game changer. But it's not just about going green, it's also about saving green. The cost of compressing air is peanuts compared to buying gasoline, diesel, or even plugging in at a charging station. You don't need a high-tech setup either, just a compressor, which you can have in your garage, or a dedicated refueling station that's far less complex than today's gas stations. With fuel prices constantly fluctuating and energy costs climbing, compressed air engines could offer a more predictable and cheap alternative, easing the burden on your wallet and making every drive more affordable. Maintenance is another huge win, unlike traditional engines packed with hundreds of moving parts. Think pistons, crankshafts, spark plugs, and so on. Compressed air engines are incredibly straightforward with far fewer components. This means less can go wrong, fewer trips to the mechanic, and lower upkeep costs overall. Say goodbye to oil changes, engine tune-ups, and all the other pesky chores that come with owning a combustion engine vehicle. Plus, without the constant banging and clattering of traditional engines, these cars are whisper quiet. City streets could be transformed into calm, noise-free zones where the loudest thing you hear is the hum of tires on the road. Of course, no new technology comes without its challenges, and compressed air engines have their fair share. The biggest issue? Energy density. Compressed air, while powerful, doesn't pack the same punch as gasoline or even lithium-ion batteries. As it stands, air-powered cars typically have a range of about 60 to 100 miles per tank, depending on the size of the air tanks and the efficiency of the engine. It's not quite ready for those epic road trips, but perfect for city commuting, quick errands, or those daily drives around town. However, don't count them out just yet. 
Engineers are hard at work developing new materials and designs to create air tanks that can hold more pressure in a smaller, lighter package. Think carbon fiber tanks or advanced alloys that can safely store higher volumes of air without adding weight to the vehicle. Innovations are also underway to enhance the efficiency of the engines themselves, converting more of that stored air energy into usable power to extend the range. Then there's the issue of infrastructure. If you're wondering, where would I even fill up my air tank, you're not alone. Right now, refueling stations for compressed air cars are far and few between. But don't forget, electric cars faced the exact same problem when they first hit the market. Charging stations were scarce, but as demand grew, so did the support network. The same pattern could easily unfold for compressed air engines. The more people adopt the technology, the faster the infrastructure will develop. And before long, compressed air refueling could be as common as today's gas stations. So, what's the end game? Compressed air engines aren't just for environmentalists or tech geeks, they're for anyone who values a quieter, cleaner, and cheaper way to get around. Imagine a future where you could handle all your short trips around town on compressed air, then switch to a traditional or electric engine for those longer highway hauls. This flexibility could make compressed air cars a popular choice for city dwellers, commuters, or anyone looking to save on fuel without sacrificing convenience. Air refueling stations could become the norm, popping up in neighborhoods, shopping centers, and public spaces, offering a quick, easy, and inexpensive way to top off your tank. And with noise and emissions drastically reduced, our cities could become more livable than ever. Imagine strolling through downtown without the constant background noise of roaring engines and honking horns. Just the sound of the wind in the trees and the hum of quiet, efficient cars zipping by. But compressed air technology isn't just limited to personal vehicles. Imagine delivery trucks, public buses, and even heavy construction equipment running on air. The impact would be massive, reducing noise and emissions in areas where conventional engines are currently the norm. In dense urban centers where short distance travel dominates, the benefits of compressed air engines far outweigh their limitations, making them an ideal solution for fleets of vehicles that don't need the extended range of gasoline or electric power. This technology also holds incredible promise for developing regions where access to fuel and electricity is limited. In places where gasoline is scarce or unreliable, and electricity infrastructure is patchy at best, compressed air vehicles could provide a low-cost, low-maintenance solution. No need for complicated fuel supply chains or expensive power sources. Just an air compressor and a tank, and you're good to go. It's a technology that could provide reliable transport for millions, particularly in rural and underserved areas, where current options are either prohibitively expensive or simply unavailable. It's too early to say whether compressed air engines will completely take over, but their potential is undeniable. What's certain is that they'll play a crucial role in the evolving landscape of transportation, offering a cleaner, quieter, and more sustainable way to travel. So, the next time you think about the future of cars, don't just imagine electric motors or hydrogen fuel cells. Think air. Because the next car you buy might just run on something as simple, abundant, and ingenious as the air we breathe.